want to take you through a bit of a restorative shoulder sequence. It's really good if you're super active or maybe you're aging a little bit. More white hair, my goatee every day. Or you just want to stay on the front edge of injury. This is a sequence in a series that uh, Dr. Yogi, there's a few of them out there, developed. And I'd like this light too, please, if you turn that on. Thank you. And here's what I'd like you to do while you do these movements. I'm going to take you through them. I'll coach you through them. I'd like you to cultivate a deep, even breath. Big breath in. Nothing forced or rushed, just big. Taking in a greater volume of oxygen than your standard breath does. Nothing fast like when we do our Wim Hof, Pranayama, nothing like that. And so you might hear me as we go to say, I'll say, breathe a little deeper. Breathe a little steadier, something like that, just to remind you. Because it's, you know how it is, Bridget, right? If I start drumming, I can't talk. Or it's harder, anyways, to paint and talk on the phone at the same time. I get it, it's difficult. As soon as we add a layer of complication, you know, it kind of all goes to hell, doesn't it? And so you might just hear me remind you. Breathe deep as we go. Arms out straight. You might make some incidental loving contact with your neighbor. It's fun when everyone shifts the same direction, then you're still just bashing each other. Arms out straight. Now, see, you stopped breathing already. Or at least that big deep breath, didn't you? Keep that going as you start some forward circles. Moving from the belly of the shoulder, way down in here. It's possible. Go slower. Gentle flow. Yeah, yeah. The mustache is fierce. The movement doesn't have to be. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to show you Nico's mustache there at home for the camera after this, just so you get the reference. Deep breathing, though. You already lost it, right? You already lost it. It's okay. Just bring it back. As you reverse the motion, go backwards. It's not a big thing. You're not a baseball player warming up, although this would be good if you're a baseball player warming up. If you're a young person, drop this into your practice a few times a week. You take good care of yourself. Breathe in and out. Big breaths, that's it. A lot of oxygen. Yeah, it's the first medical intervention for almost every condition. And now relax the arms. That's already a lot of work, isn't it? Straight arms, pull the backs of the hand up towards the face, then sweep the arms back so that you hyperextend gently in the front aspect of the shoulder. Do you feel that? If you feel it, go, hmm. Yeah. All right, now breathe deep, yeah, as you sweep up into a wide V. And then exhale, hyperextend back. Just gentle, just an inch past your range of motion. Good. Nice straight arms. Really flex the wrist. You can try flexing the hands in the opposite direction. See how that feels. You can try smiling, Lance. It's Sunday morning. You're okay. Yeah, bud. That's it. Breathing, smiling. That's why we bring the Frenchies. You sort of miss that aspect of the practice if you're on the internet practicing with us. But come into the studio sometime. See Gonzo and Rosie. Keep that going. Incidentally, we have some Gonzo hoodies for sale out front. We have a saying that if you don't develop a fashion line for your dog, you don't love them enough. That's a joke. It's just kidding. Yeah, keep it going. A few more times. Breathe in and out. <laughs> That'd be an impossible standard <laughs> to keep. <laughs> be a lot of unpurchased sweatshirts in the world out there. <laughs> Good. Then relax. Keep breathing deep. Relax. <laughs> Some of you aren't relaxing. Relax. Yeah, Jackie's got it. But keep breathing deep. See, you stopped already. Not forceful. Just even. Taking a lot of oxygen. I call this one robot neck rolls. So you kind of roll through like the robot and then roll your neck with your arm. Feel that? That's kind of cool. Yeah. You can twist the wrist back in the other direction. Just try moving it at the same time. See, this got really complicated. You lost that deep breath, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, so you're stretching out the neck, the shoulder, the whole chain of movement as you go. And flow it. Ripple it, not rigid like a robot, you know, more like the AI robots we have now. They, they would do, the, what does the robot even look like in today's contemporary context? It just looks like dancing. This is the new robot. Yeah, keep breathing, you lost it, keep breathing. Keep breathing. <laughs> Good, and then relax, release. It gets hard fast up there. If you're really moving from inside the shoulder, try not to move from the bicep, that's really easy to do. 
This time we're going to pull the hands back and then we're going to reach way out, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you do. And then come across two fingers of pressure. Bob Ross would say, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Gently guides the arm across. Big sweep opens up. And then come across the other side. No pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Open up. I've been watching entirely too much Bob Ross lately. Other side. Yeah, no such thing as that, is there? I'm still trying to master that Bob Ross self-talk, though. That's a hard one. I paint. And right before I put a stroke on the canvas, I go, this is going to be fucked, right? I got to stop and go, no, 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 it's okay. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. A couple more, just like that. Keep breathing. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Really sweep the arm. Really sweep it across. Good. Good. And then relax. Relax. Put your hands behind your head. A couple of you heard that a few times too many in your life. Breathe in. Elbows together. Breathe out. Big breath. As you inhale, open up. And you'll feel this little cow in the belly happen. Exhale. And a little cat happens in the spine, doesn't it? Inhale. And exhale. Good, Bridget. Master in that smile. 16 seconds in a forced grin makes you happier. They proved it. They proved it. A couple more, just like that. Breathing. And out. That's it. Mm Mm-hmm. A couple more. You're doing great. Yeah. Breathe. Smile. Glad you made it today. Megan usually teaches this class. Come see her sometime. She gets the day off today. Arms up to cactus. And then rotating down. Keeping the upper arms parallel to the earth. As you actually rotate and open. Notice what happened. Simple transition. Where'd the breathing go? Slow down, Lance. Gentle flow. Beard looks great. Gentle flow today. You look like a lumberjack. No need to act like one. (laughs) Yeah, breathing. If it helps to think of inhaling as you sweep up, exhaling as you come down. Two. Three. Here's two. Good, Kai. Here's one. Now hands behind the back. That's the step that comes after hands behind the head. And you're going to interlace the fingers. Keep the heels of the hand together. That's really important. As you bring the hands behind the back, keep the heels of the hands together. And as you breathe, just gently move that fist away from the lower back. Breathing as you do. Now feel this, because this is our tendency whenever a teacher says hands behind the back is we want to crank this way. Press the fist into the back and peel the shoulders away from the chest. Relax, and then press the fist, peel the shoulders away from one another. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, gentle, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. Just drop it in. I have a tendency to combine my Bob Ross voice with a happy Gilmore Uh, Chubbs, his golf coach voice, just drop it in, just tap it in, (laughs) good, and now keep the fist, same fist, now it's going to go straight down, straight down, still breathing, and here's a good time to lean the neck away, one direction, as you relax, press the fist down, lean the other direction, just moving slow, gentle, Sunday morning, Marco's here, Woo. This guy ain't seen this side of 10 a.m. in 10 years, I guarantee it. (laughs) True story. (laughs) A couple more, and we're there. Relax, release. We're going to sweep the arm up, capture it with the opposite hand, and just, again, that same two fingers of pressure. As you sweep up, the same arm comes on top for eagle, or your version of eagle could look like this just fine sweep up capture the opposite hand gentle lean you feeling the lat a little bit let that happen yeah sweep under now the left arm's on top for eagle excellent yeah I hear someone breathing out there you don't necessarily have to breathe loud in yoga just breathe deep intentional 
if that little frictive quality doesn't serve you, don't make that your priority. That's sort of a shortcut cue that yoga teachers use to breathe deep. That's really what we want you to do. Yeah, a couple more. Doing good, Seth. I see you back there, buddy. Yeah. And feel free to customize. If you don't like the color I'm putting in my mountain, then put a different color in that rascal on your painting, yeah? You can move the elbows up and eagle. You can pull over a little bit. It's your body. Explore it. Feel empowered to explore it. They never tell you that in middle school. That's it. Yoga should make you happy. <laughs> if it doesn't make you happy, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> All right, we call this the scratch test. So this is where we, if you're me, try our best to connect the fingers. Then swoop around and do your best on this side. No need to force a connection. Just do your best. Yeah. Yeah, let that yawn out. Let that rascal. That rascal lives right there in your mouth. Let him out. Bob Ross says, look at all those pine trees. They live right in your fan brush. <laughs> all you got to do is let them out. <laughs> I'm growing the sides of my hair out, some of you have noticed. It would be weird looking videos for a while. <laughs> Final shoulder exercise. You feeling this? You feeling good in your shoulders? Go, mm, yeah, good. Final one is the old martial arts teacup test. So you hold your hand out nice and flat and act like you got a teacup in there. And now you're going to bring that teacup without spilling it back, spin it, bring it out, around, and then you got to get it around the bun. That was an inconvenient time to put my hair up and then out. Yeah. Yeah, but you're just doing this, Joy. You're just up here with the teacup. You got to keep it really tight. Keep it as, keep it as tight as you can without any pain. Little pops can be productive. It's breaking up scar tissue as long as it's not creating pain at the same time. Yeah, and if you're if you're already if you hurt yourself, that was you, not me, because we hadn't done shit yet, Lance. So if you Lance is like, oh man, how'd I hurt my wrist? Well, ask yourself that. Sometimes when I paint, man, I grip that paintbrush like I'm trying to kill it. That's not how Bob Ross handles it. He's gentle with it. He wants it to last. Let's do the other side. I want your shoulders to last a long time. In this practice, you come take an O1. I've counted. Ooh, did you hear that? But it didn't hurt, so that's that must be good. <laughs> Do whatever makes you happy, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. That's what Bob Ross says. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, one side's likely significantly different than the other. If you come in and take an Outlaw One class, we've counted them. There's 55 push-ups in class at a minimum. Yes, yeah, so that's sister. If you take her class, 105. <laughs> good now once you mastered that add a little bit of complexity are you still breathing deep both of them two cups of tea oh my god you have a guest now <clears throat> you have a guest for tea yeah and once you master that reverse it reverse it what whoa it's okay you're doing it that's pretty good that's, that's pretty close you're doing your version of it that's what I do when I do a Bob Ross oil painting. I got no fucking idea what I'm doing. I just do my version of it. It's great. It's fantastic. Now, if we put a sword in your hand, you'd be a complete fighter. Yeah, son. Wonderful. Give someone a, give someone a high five. That was a lot of fun, huh? I'll take one. Go ahead, roll over the knees in the tabletop, please, and we'll... Let's, heck, let's just have some fun today. shoot <laughs> man I love that guy <clears throat> I love the magic of television that that guy still lives on in my Amazon account is uh, it's really is really cool yeah breathe and move cats and cows now you just you just went rigid didn't you you were moving and flowing and now you're like okay I'm in tabletop what do I do now guy Wiggle around. Wiggle around. You're going to make a fist. Roll those fingertips inside. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but those are your fingers. They're great. Roll them inside to protect them. Yeah, perfect. And then the thumb goes here for balance. That's good. If you need a really relaxing, restorative experience today, then just bring your blanket. You come over, sit in the easy chair. 
Just sit, just sit here. Wrap up with your blanket. Breathe deep. Inhale the right arm high to the sky. Roll out the wrist one direction, then the other. Spider tip the fingers on the left hand so it brings the left arm into play. Yeah, and really open up, reach up, explore across the chest, and then thread the needle hand through the hole created by the left arm pit and the hips. Now, even here, there's some exploration, some movement that's possible. You can lean just slightly forward or to the right and see if it provides a different stretch that feels better for you. Make it unique. Customize it. Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. A couple more times, just like that. That's it. As you inhale, float that right arm back up to the sky. Roll the wrist like he's a happy little cloud up there just dancing across the sky. I start my day with at least two episodes. You're going to hear a lot of this shit today, guys. Breathe in and return to the ground. Breathe out. Inhale, cow, one time. And exhale, cat. There, we got the breath together. Other side. Inhale the arm high. Roll it out. Yeah, spider tip the fingers on the right-hand side. Feel what that does to the right shoulder. Really reach back, lance, explore through the chest. Up, 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 and open. That's it, Keith. Breathe in. And then take it to the other side. You should breathe out. Wonderful. Lovely. Mr. Clay Kirkland was going to be here with us today. He had to have emergency tooth extraction surgery. So our heart goes out to our old friend Clay. One of these days, we'll get him back in here again with us. Breathe in and out. And feel free to explore here. Lean a little bit here. Find the angle, the trajectory, the path, if you will, that serves you and you uniquely. And when you feel even, don't wait for me. Don't wait for a yoga teacher to tell you you're balanced. You inhale the left arm high. Roll it out. You'll move through a cow and a cat and then downward facing dog. And that's why you don't want to rush because that's what's coming. No guarantee. No guarantee that when we run from this moment, the next one is going to be any better. That said, paintings only get better when you add paint. It's hard to take that stuff off once you put it up there, ain't it? Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Boy, yogis look great today, yeah. Breathe deep, steady. You're welcome to carry that <clears throat> deep breathing through the entire practice. You're welcome to carry that deep breathing out into life whenever you need it. Take in a few of them with great purpose. And then go back to the unconscious breath. Relax the heels towards the mat. Relax the heels. Yeah, find the heels, Haley. Relax. Relax the neck. Yeah, let the head hang heavy. Really, really heavy. Yeah, wiggle it around a little bit. Yeah, that tension lives right there in your neck. You just got to let it out. <laughs> I literally have a Bob Ross saying for every posture in class today. <laughs> Breathe in. And out. Inhale. And exhale. Fill it. That's it. Let go. Hinge forward to high plank. Breathe in. Lower slowly all the way down to the belly. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, cobra. Peel up the upper body. You can press through the hands or just lift with the lower back. Breathe in and release. Inhale, cobra. Press up a little higher and release. Feel the breath flow. Inhale, cobra. Come up a little higher. And release like a wave. Press down, uncurl the toes, press up, high plank. And back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out. Take in, very present. Give back. Compassionate. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Yeah, relax the neck. Tension might have crept its way into there. Hinge forward, high plank. 
One more time. Lower all the way to the belly. Slow though. Slow, slow, slow. Peel up. Cobra. Press through the tops of the toes. Press through the hands. And release. Cobra. Peel up. With your breath. Might be different than mine. Release as you're ready. One more time like a wave. Come up. And let go. Crash it back. Uncurl the toes. Press up. Push back. Whoosh. You got to make those little sounds, Bob Ross says, or it doesn't work. Inhale. And exhale. Fill up. And offer. Again, just like that. Inhale. One more time. Fill up. Look to the hands and then step slowly, gently to the hands. Find yourself in a happy little rag doll. Just a happy rag doll. Hands to the opposite biceps. Take the feet a little wider if you want to. Let the head and neck hang heavy. Yeah. Sway gently if it feels good to. Inviting grace patience and presence with every deep breath in offering up compassion love and acceptance with each full breath out not out the neck Bridget let it go release the hands to the mat plant the right hand right underneath the face and inhale the left arm high to the sky bend the knee the right knee that is as much as you like in order to feel productive twist that ripples and radiates all the way down to that left hip. Breathing as you do. Roll out the wrist if you like. Katrina's got some jazz hands going back there. <laughs> like that. Breathing. In. And releasing on the breath out. Halfway lift. Press into the toes, the shins. Squeeze the shoulder blades flat on the back. You breathing? Forward fold as you let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Ripple the spine. Exhale, fold. Let it go. Calm the mind. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Other side, left hand plans. Right arm high. Press down through the fingertips just like you did. Press and reach up. Stretch and open up. Breathe deep. Welcome in. And offer up every breath, every brush stroke, every moment. It's a chance to have a conscious interaction with the environment around us, with the environment within us. Breathe in and release. Breath out. One time, halfway lift. Forward fold. Root and rise, steady and slow. Mountain pose, up, up. Up, ripple the spine and then reach all ten fingers up, 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 spread them wide, shiny and bright, like the bristles of a fan brush. Yeah, breathe in and out. <clears throat> Steady breath in, conscious breath in and out. Yeah, close the eyes if you haven't. Go within. Allow your presence. To trickle all the way down, 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 down into the feet. And feel all ten toes peel up off the mat. Feel all ten toes fanned wide. Breathe in and out. Keep them lifted and spread, but allow your presence to creep up through the legs now. As you hug the muscles to the bone, feel them squeeze in tight. Keep all that, but invite your presence up, up, up into the belly. Pull it in. Yes. Keep it all. Keep walking the presence up, up, up. Relax the shoulders down the back, but energize, energize, energize. I just made that word up. It's a combination between energize and energize. Energize. Travels up through the arms, squeezing the muscles to the bone. Vibrant and full of life. They're starting to shake. They're squeezed so tight. Breathe in. Keep all that back bend. Cactus the arms. Open up. Inhale, reach high. And exhale, fold low, touch the toes. Halfway lift, plant the hands, step back to a plank that's high and lower, all the way down, or halfway, you choose today. 
Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog as you're ready. Breathe in and breathe out. Take in and get back. Fill up and offer. Yeah, look forward and step. Top of mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Mountain pose. Reach up. Open the heart. Offer up. Reach high. And fold. Yeah, your breath, your wave might be a little different than mine. Breathe in. Halfway lift. And flow. You got it, yogis. Follow your rhythm up. And down. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take in. And give back. Feel that tension. Look forward. And travel. Top of mat. Oh, that's nice, Marco. Halfway lift. And fold. Stand tall. Open the heart and shine. Reach high. And fold. Surrender. Look inside. Halfway. And flow. You got it, yogis. Breathe and move. Your wave, your timing, your tempo. One or several or none push-ups. Great on a Sunday. Look forward and travel. Breathe in and out. Choose wisely as you move deliberately. A lot of energy, a lot of significance in the body. A lot of presence. Mindfulness being cultivated in the psyche. Smile as you move. Remember you chose this today. Great choice to make on a Sunday. Let's celebrate. Go. Yeah. Go a couple more trips through. You'll know when it's time to meet in downward facing, Don. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Deliberate. done meeting downward facing dog breathe in and out inhale and ex steady and fluid not knowing where one wave connects with the next breathe in and out inhale and ex one more time taken And give back. Drop down to child's pose. How about a floor clap for Marco de Fajero? Let's hear it for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really nice, really nice. Breathe here. Connect here. You know, I think one of the coolest things that we try to do here and that Bob Ross tried to accomplish through his career was to empower people to be themselves. He said, don't try and copy my painting. Make your own painting. As admirable as someone might be, take the quality that's in them that you wish to have in yourself, that you already see and know that you possess it to some degree. Cultivate that quality with your own bold and unique expression. Maybe copying at first, imitating, practicing, cultivating an authentic unique voice and expression. And I wonder, where's one place in your life you could drop in that concept? See it as clear as you dare. And allow an inhale to pull you up to tabletop. Come through cow and cat. And into downward facing dog when you're done with that. 
Breathe in and out. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Look forward and travel. Top of mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Ukatasana. Bend the knees. Sink low. Not that low. Come up higher. Like that. If you go below parallel, it's easier, and I know that. As do you. This is just on Megan and sister. Right there. And Gonzo, of course. Bring the hands to the heart, everyone. Stay rooted in the right foot as you lift the left foot up and cross the left ankle over the right knee. Figure four. Yeah. Don't wrap it like eagle. Yeah, just place it on the knee. And then sink the hips towards the mat as best you can. Feel an opening in the back line of the body. The hips. Breathe steady. Look forward. Look forward. Smile. I know. I just had that much hair. We cut off 10 inches. That's awesome. Beautiful. Good. Breathe in. And now, steady now. Don't put the foot on the ground. Just reach and stretch it back to airplane. Back, 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 like you're trying to give a high foot five to the person's face behind you. But just gently. Lift the chest up, Haley. Up, 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 Haley. If you're not Haley, I'm not talking to you. Lift your chest up, Haley. There it is. Now step all the way back for a lunge. Reach the hands high. Crescent lunge. Oh, we made it through. Oh, we got there together. We got there together. Breathe in. And out. Yeah. Slow and steady with grace through challenge. Sometimes we want to put our head down and just bulldoze through it, don't we? That's not how you make a great painting. Bob Ross can paint real fast. I can't. Marco can drum and talk at the same time. I can't. A lot of practice. Breathe in. Back bend. Open the heart as you breathe out. Reach high. Hands to the heart. Option to drop the back knee if you like. Hinge forward and twist to the right for revolved crescent. Stack the elbows and palms in one perpendicular line to the mat. And then look up instead of back. And feel the difference in the psyche. Feel the difference in the body. Breathe in. And out. Gently opening just an inch past your range of motion. That's it, yogis. One more time. In. And out. Lift the back knee up and open up warrior two. Bring it all the way around. Yeah, to face our beautiful new mural. That thing's done. I'm done with that. <laughs> Heck, I think we got ourselves a finished painting up there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, we don't. Not yet. It's also not wet. I know that sign is kind of misleading. There's an exclamation point on it even. Breathe in. Don't overuse the explanation, the exclamation point in life, yogis, like when you text or your email, stuff like that. That means you're shouting. And if you're not shouting, then don't use that little rascal, huh? But hey, it's your text. If you want to use that rascal, then do. <laughs> Breathe in. And out. Straighten the leg. Inhale. Triangle. Reach forward and bring the arms to 6 and 12. Press the right hand down on something and scoop the right glue underneath the body. Bring the hand to the shin. Hand to the shin. Yeah, that's the ankle. Keep coming. Up, up, up. Oh, it feels better, right? Now pull the right shoulder back. Yeah, now throw the head back. Yeah, like Fabio is back here to catch you. That's it. Star, reach high. Up, 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 up. Parallel the feet. Breathe in. Open the heart. Back bend. Offer it up. You're perfect. Shiny and bright, just as you are. Reach high. Sink into horse. You're perfect and shiny and bright, just as you are. We're just going to make your butt a little firmer for a moment, huh? Yeah. Just remember, your butt's not you. Okay, that's important. You got a great butt. You got what you perceive to not be a great butt. That's not you. That's the butt of your body. It's not you. I have this just disgusting big toe. Is that me? No. It's the big toe of my body. That's a big important distinction. You're perfect. Already. We're just going to make the butt of your body a little firmer. That's it. And depending on how firm you want it, you will sink deeper. Or you'll stand up. You're like, no, my butt's perfect. <laughs> my butt's perfect as it is. You just stand up like this and smile. 
you want it to be a little firmer, then you sink an inch deeper. If you want it to be a lot firmer, you stay a minute longer. That's just, we want to teach you a technique, yogis, and then turn you loose on the world. It's the only way I know to get better at anything. It's just practice, 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 no matter how much it might scare us. Inhale, reach high, star. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse as you breathe in, paint the sky. And release as you breathe out. Flow. One, several, none push-ups. Everything available to you, yogis. Your choice, your painting, up and down dog as you're ready. Your adventure. You're doing great. You're doing great and you are great. Breathe in. And breathe out. You're doing great and you are great. Don't forget that. Don't forget that as you stumble, as you trip, as you react. Don't forget you're doing great and you are great. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel, top of mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Utkatasana. Last time here for the moment. Maybe the last time in your life. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Bring the hands through the heart. This time it's the right foot that picks up gently, comes into figure four. Yeah. Just drape the drape the ankle over the knee and then sink the hips to the depth of experience you wish to have in the hips it's up to you it's up to you it's all up to you how you perceive this moment in life is the reality in life for you in this moment perceive it with happiness perceive it with compassion it will be happy and full of compassion keep the leg lifted but start to reach it back for airplane won't be easy It is a simple choice. Simply see the happiness, the joy, the compassion that's always there, and that's what you will experience. Step all the way back, land lightly. Yeah, soft through the challenge. Reach high to crescent. Wonderful job, yogis. Wonderful. That's it. Smile. Breathe in. Back bend as you breathe out. Reach high. Hands to the heart. Option to drop the knee, especially if you do it on the other side. Hinge forward and twist to the left. I'm not the type of person that likes to be told to smile. So often when people say, hey, smile, my first reaction is, hey, fuck you. (laughs) I have to stop myself and go, no, just, it's okay. Just, they just want me to be happy. It's not an attack. (laughs) And so I smile after I have that little battle with myself in my mind. I smile. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep going. You got this. Good. Good. Keep the twist. Lift the back knee. Breathe in. Warrior two as you breathe out. Open up. However you choose to get there. It's perfect. It's perfect and right. If you're enjoying yourself and doing no harm to anybody, it's perfect and right. The only rule we respect in yoga is it's got to make you happy. What if that were everyone's philosophy? The only, re- the only rule we respect in business is it's got to make you happy and not hurt anybody. And not hurt anybody. It's a double edge to that rule. Breathe in. And out. Straighten the leg. Inhale. Triangle. Other side as you exhale. Reach forward. Press the hand down. Block can be great here. Exactly. Press and open. Breathe deep and steady. Feel the heart open. Throw the head back. Why not? We're here for you. Together as a community. We fall. It'll be together. One more. Inhale, star. Reach up, up, up. Parallel the feet. Exhale, open the heart. Inhale, reach high. Test of our nonverbal communication. Fold low. Prasarita. Hinge at the waist. If you have a bun, be aware here. Now, I meant hair bun, but I suppose everyone in here has another bun, too. So everyone be aware as you hinge forward. Freedom and flexibility here. can be nice to interlace all ten fingers at the low back like we discussed earlier. Now, the first instinct, right, is to take that fist up over the head. But try pressing it into the low back instead. Press it down into the low back, Jackie. Yeah, and feel that pressure open the chest. A little different. If you like it, keep it not hey thanks for trying it on do what you need to do just keep the heels of the hands together 
that will eliminate the tendency to hyperextend for most people. Breathe in and out. Yeah, you feel how keeping that keeps you out of that. Excellent. Release the hands. Mind your neighbor. Mind your bun and their bun and inhale high to star. Come up, up, up. You likely swooped one direction on the way down. Swoop the other on the way up. Breathe in. Warrior two to the front. Breathe out. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, release. Flow all the way down to the earth. One or several. Last time through Chaturanga. Up dog as you're ready. And down dog as a community. Three times to seal in our standing practice today. Fill up and offer up. Take in and get back. That's it. One more time. Fill up and go. Drop down to the knees. Either lay down to the back or take half pigeon with the right leg forward. If you lay down on the back, you're going to supine figure four. You have a number of blocks, blankets, some some people call them props, I call them tools, tools for the practice. If you have a big gap between your bun and the mat, for example, put a block there. If you have a big gap between your forehead and the mat, put a block there, put a blanket there. As Megan likes to say, if you could be 5% more comfortable here, make that adjustment. I try to take that through life. Boy, that's not easy. If I could be 5% more comfortable here, just do it. <laughs> please, please excuse me, Mr. Boss Man. I'm going to make myself 5% more comfortable. <laughs> Justin said, be unafraid to explore my body. And Megan said, make myself 5% more comfortable. Be careful you don't multiply those two messages. <laughs> Empowering, empowering on their own. <laughs> Dangerous together. Take everything. Jesus Christ, take everything everyone has ever said through your own filter of wisdom. Please, even Jesus Christ, even Bob Ross, even all the great thinkers out there, just because we read it in a book somewhere doesn't make it true. Just because we heard it from someone doesn't make it true for you. If something resonates with you, pinpoint the quality that it is, that seems to be calling to you in that moment. And know that to see that quality, you must necessarily have it inside of you already, to some minimal degree. Go inside for a moment, yogis, and just consider one place in your life that's calling for a greater degree of expression from you. See as clearly as you can. how you might creatively drop in that quality. See as clearly as you dare how you might creatively affect the canvas of your life. Walk yourself from the crown of the head. Imagining in the mind that quality. Infusing the back of the neck. Inviting that quality into the upper back. Inviting that quality into the lower back. The hips. The leg. back of the left hamstring, inviting that quality into the shins, the feet, the toes, floor clap for Marco, huh?
<clears throat> Not a lot of yogi musicians out there, and precious few of them who can play 60 minutes straight through a class. That's, that is not an easy feat. Start to walk the hands towards the hips. Switch sides. There's a stage in between calling to them. For God's sake, take it. These yoga poses, this yoga practice, it's kind of like the pirate code. These are more like guidelines than rules. A road map. Someone who's been there and done that before it can be useful. It can also be a little fucking boring if you just follow it to the letter. Try and copy, replicate the path that came before you. Unsatisfying. Make it your own. On this side, consider... All the people's lives who would be positively affected. For you having cultivated this quality you have identified. For you having the boldness to take this practice out into your life. See the faces. Your loved ones, your friends, your parents and pets. See them clearly and how they would be positively affected for the liberal application of your creative expression. See yourself and others happier. See yourself and others more fulfilled. See yourself and others more compassionate more accepting, more cohesive and connected, a community of loving humans, all doing their best, trying their hardest to forgive each other their worst. when you feel even <clears throat> switch sides release to Shavasana make yourself complete if you've taken any extra steps and when you get there surrender and spread out wide spoiler alert you're going to connect with the person next to you so just do it it's okay Put the hands out wide. You don't have to like interlace your fingers like you're on a date or something. You can just gently brush up against them or you can hold their hand. If you have a towel or a eye pillow, it's a great time for that. Blanket underneath the head. Put yourself in the most restorative posture imaginable. And if you need to reach out to the person at your side, do that. Do that. Talking to you, yogis. Breathing. And now. Together, take in. And give back. Fill him. And offer a sigh. Ha. Ah. 
surrender. Feel satisfied and complete. I know you've done something great for the body. Something wonderful for the mind. That you made a great choice today to start the day out right. Take a moment to congratulate yourself. And a moment to let go and surrender. the hand you're holding a loving squeeze let go slowly like you don't want to when you're ready stretch and reach the arms up high overhead biceps by the ears take a moment to roll on to the right side Take a final moment to look inside here. That place where, where your true and authentic creative expression lies. Where your brilliance begins. When you're ready to enjoy the ride Press up to a comfortable seat, and we'll sing home three times. Place the hands deliberately, sit up tall and proud. First a full round of breath in and out. Three times is one. Fill up. Oh. 
Inhale the thumbs through the forehead. Exhale the chin to the chest, forehead to the mat. Moment of humility and gratitude for this practice, for all the people around us, for this life, this moment. Thank you so much, yogis, for sharing it with me and with us, for sharing your effort and your energy. It's an honor to be here as part of this community and a joy to be here as your guide. Namaste. Nicely done. Marco De Fajera, everyone. Woo, isn't he great?